The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about Brick Baby forgot to delete some crucial evidence and connecting him to the little pop hit. Let's jump straight into it. Calling my phone, talking about, oh, hey, hey, you know, man, I'm 6-0, man. I'm hood, them boys got hops, nigga. I'm 6-0, ain't none of my niggas crashing out Beverly Hills and Broad Day. Here it is, bro, that this picture is posted on your page showing that you was in L.A. around the same time that Quando, I mean, look, Quando Rondo uh, uh, Escalade got hit up and his friend tragically lost his life, um, which is not common. He from L.A., so he, he he could just be in L.A. anytime, any any place, you know, but the part that gave it away was this man posted a lot of money right after Lil Pop got hit up. I never seen Brick Baby post this type of money and I pay attention thoroughly. Before this day, I never seen him post this kind of cash and after this day, I never seen him post this type of cash. Still to this day, I haven't seen Brick Baby show this type of cash. So here it is from the paperwork, it's saying that Lil Dirk was offering a reward for whoever do something to Lil Pop. So if you're going to pay the people that did something to Lil Pop, you got to pay the person that probably put you in tune where he at. There's nowhere in the world that OTF members took a trip from, from Chicago to L.A. and didn't have no type of hints or clues what to look for. And I can guarantee you that the Rolling 60s knew the truck Quando Rondo was in and where he was staying at. And that's Quando Rondo mistake, man, for going to L.A., and tapping in with those dudes years later. If he was gonna tap in with the Rolling 60s, he should have did that way before the Vine situation jumped off. I don't think they would have gave him up then. You know, but you think that you're gonna come over to Cali and tap in with us now, and we know that dude and them is on you. And he didn't know, I'm pretty sure he didn't know that it was a connection, Dirk messed with some 60 members. Because I guarantee you, if Condo Rondo would have knew that, he more than likely wouldn't have tapped in with him. You ask him for it then. You going to tap in with some dudes that you know mess with your ops that's trying to get you right now? That would make sense, you know? He thought that he was safe tapping in with his, you know, with the motherland, with his people, but his people backdoored him, you know? Um, but I keep it real with you, man. You know, when the, as the trials get closer or the court proceedings, this cooperator for eventually is going to get exposed, you know? Um, I believe that they're not exposing it right now because they still trying to get uh, get more people or maybe they're not exposing and cooperate for because he still could be working undercover or he could still be gathering information. Anytime I ever seen in paperwork where they don't identify the person, it's either for safety reasons or that person is still gathering information or they don't got everything just yet. So I can guarantee you it's more information or more charges or probably another unsealed indictment or something else probably on the way to come. You know, um, I would assume that that they trying to protect his image. That's probably why they're not exposing Cooperator 4. But go look at the paperwork. Cooperator 4 was a was a, um, a L.A. native that they said gave. Quando Rondo's location or where he was staying at and what he was driving. In order for them to do that, it would have had to have been somebody that Quando Rondo trusted. 
It's some. It's one of them 60 members, you know? But it's just the timing of when Brick Baby posted this, it's, 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 it's making it seem like, bro, he cooperated for it. And I'm just keeping it a buck with you, man. You know, he posted that he was in L.A. around the same time, which he from L.A., so that's not uncommon. But right after Quando Rondo get hit, you going live and you showing all of this money. And then you saying, yeah, this money dirty. I got to spread and clean it. If y'all seen, he was spraying Febreze on the money, saying that the money was dirty. So it's like, bro, you just, it's either he want to be involved so bad and he making himself involved so that he can get clout or whatever, or bro really got something to do with it, you know? But however it go, all that music Dirt was making incriminating. The stuff he said on DJ Academics was incriminating. The stuff Brick Baby been hitting and saying been incriminating. There's nowhere in the world this man can say certain things and be confident unless he was involved. I can't sit here and say, yeah, man, Lil Dirt can't say he got, uh, y'all can't say Lil Dirt ain't got to get back no more. Like he just was saying stuff so confident to make you think that he know more than what he often what he's saying. So either you trying to put yourself in the mix for some clout, for some views, or for some fame, or bro, you really got your hand in that. Either way it go, it's gonna come to the light. If it ain't Brick Baby, it's gonna definitely be a a, a, a rolling sixty member, a high ranking one. Because I don't see Quando Rondo going there and tapping in with no regular schmegler, man. It had to be somebody that, that that's plugged in and somebody that's connected that can make him feel like he's safe while he's here, you know? And I just keep it a buck with you, you know? Um, and that's just real. But it's your boy, D's Media, signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth, man. But your boy, Brick Baby, man, forgot to delete this discriminating evidence, man, off his page, man. And just the timing, man. Uh, his post of him being in L.A. and him showing a, a high amount, of, I mean, a serious amount of cash right after Lil Pop got hit. And it's, it's in that indictment saying that Lil Dirt was offering money to, to get at Lil Pop. So you can't pay the dudes that got him and not pay the dudes that gave you a tip. That's just, that's just street one-on-one. -on -one. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for tapping in with, you, with me. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>